one. Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo, Nemo's Ocean Discoveries. Learning Adventure. Crabman from Crabman Gaming here, and today I'm playing Finding Nemo, Nemo's Ocean Adventures. And here we have the Learning Adventure, Learning Zone, and Options. Options is always uh, sound on and off, but in this game you can change your chances from normal to unlimited. I'll take my chances on normal. We'll play the Learning Zone activities e at the gallery. end. Yes. So Coral we've got four learn. there to play, and learning let's start adventure. the Learning Adventure. Adventure play. And also after the adventure play, we'll have a quick look through the logbook. Oh, where welcome to the Explorer Log. There's actually lots of cool facts. So I don't know how interested you are of listening to those, adventure but let's kick play. off the adventure. Obviously based on the 2003 film by Pixar. Nemo's dad Marlin is the bravest dad ever. He crossed the entire ocean to find his son. Now Nemo wants to go on an ocean adventure too. Mr. Ray, I want to go on an adventure just like my dad. Ah, learning about the wonders of the ocean. Well, hello, explorers. Climb aboard, collect these bubbles, and I'll help you learn some fun ocean facts. Next stop, knowledge. <laughs> Come on, let's go have an adventure. Reef exploration. Next stop, knowledge. Let's learn lots of stuff about life in the sea. Find as many questions these things. And welcome. I have managed to suppress some of the noise that were in some of my earlier V Smile motion games, which makes it sound a lot better. More it's a bit of tweaking. So sorry if you have to listen to those games with uh, a bit of fuzz in the background. I'm recording this on a V Smile V Tech console and it is, runs on composite cable so you got a little bit of fuzz in the background but that's now gone Swordfish. so now we can just revel in the 940 million that this film made at the box office and sit back and enjoy finding nemo and the remainder of the 23 v small v motion games that i have impressive and just a quick little Crabman confession as well. I've actually never seen Finding Nemo, so seen a lot of the Pixar films, Toy Story, uh, etc., but not Finding ABC Nemo. ABC Turtle. Hello, Turtle. Great exploring. So thanks for checking out the video as well. One quick show at the Eel. start. If you are enjoying the video, click a quick like. It helps me out. If you comment, I will definitely comment back. And if you subscribe, you are even more amazing. You can find me on Facebook as well, at Crabman Gaming. One more item and also on Twitch, book. at Crabman Ow. Gaming as well. Oh, got done by the coral. But otherwise, sit back and enjoy uh, Nemo's adventure. Actually, this guy isn't Nemo, is he? He's someone else. Muscle! Oops, didn't say that thing there. Sneaky. Well, that gives me my life back. Sometimes you think you're right at these uh, kids' games on the Smartridges. But sometimes they get you. Beauty and the Beast, oh, not Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella got me. I kept dying on the first level. Well, not dying, but I lost a little bit of health. But then I was a Jellyfish! So I have played a few games through, if you would like to check them out. Uh, the Backyardigans, Bob the Builder, Cinderella, Care Bears, Blues Clues. I was reading my, I was reading my list. Uh, Elmo's Adventure, listening to Elmo's voice for an hour, that was fun. You can check it out, there'll be a playlist on my channel. If you're watching this a little Wait. while after I'm done, you'll see all the videos there. If you're watching them as they come out, well, this will be about the seventh video. You've got one more item in the Explorer Logbook. It'll really depend on if I can get Alphabet Park Adventure to work as well. That was supposed to be the first game I played, but it doesn't. My cartridge doesn't work Ow! properly. I'm not playing this very well at all. Clam. Wow. 
Let's get my bonus health back. I do like on the V smart controller if you press the question mark, Find it does help you out. Question marks are impressive. If you get stuck. Which is a really great addition, and I've said in almost Rim. all my videos. I wish that was on the PS5 or Series X controller because it's an awesome feature. Great exploring! Sea urchin! Yeah! Hey, we're done! This is your score! Oh! Welcome to the Explorer Logbook! I'm back, whales blow nets. Humpback whales blow nets of bubbles around schools of fish to catch them. Then they swim up through the bubble net to eat their food. Oops, I didn't, I didn't mean to press OK. I'll listen to those at the end. Moonfish agility training. Ooh. Press enter at the right time to swim through the fish without touching them. This is one of the highest ranks on Rotten Tomatoes as well. Yeah! with a 99% score. And then I looked up a list of Pixar films and it was third, there was two lists that I saw. The Rotten Tomato list had it on third and then there was a different list I saw. Oh, that was good. Uh, where Wally -E was number one and Toy Story was number two. And the other list, Toy Story two was number one, Toy Story one was number two. And Finding Nemo was number three again. Close. Got me. <laughs> this is your score. Twenty eight, that was it. Okay, I know who I am now. I'm Marlin the Clownfish. I probably should have looked that up before the I started East playing. Australian current. Hey, where Crabman's from, but not the East. I'm from the West. Come on, let's go for a ride. Follow the shapes. They'll show you the way. Oh, Can I get these green things? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're not keen on you uh, disturbing the turtles Here's in Australia. One more item in the Explorer Logbook. Oh, I thought I was supposed to collect that. You will see some green turtles if you ever go to the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, off the coast of... Uh, it's in Queensland, Hamilton Island. Yeah. Awesome place to go and visit if you get a chance. Not that uh, when you're watching this video you might be able to. You might not be able to. At the moment not much travel happening. Apart from under the sea with this green turtle. Watch out for stingrays in the uh, out in the ocean. Triangle. Yeah. Australians not a fan of stingrays. You've got one more item in the Explorer logbook. Ow. Oh no. It's um this joystick's kind of hard to control as well. It's so massive. It's Circle. probably meant for you to wrap your whole. Yeah. Hand ground if when used to just playing with your thumb, it's easy for your thumb to slip off if you've ever seen a picture. If you uh, don't know what I'm talking about, just have a quick Google of a V smile controller and you'll see what I mean. There's one giant button which makes it easy for hitting. Four colour buttons, the help button. Rectangle! Yeah! A couple of back buttons. And just this giant joystick. So if you think of like a um, Atari joystick. Impressive. It's bigger than that. And that was pretty much the whole controller. So I'm not really sure what the educational merit of this level is. It's just bubble co oh, a couple of shapes. Yeah, but they don't come up that often. So most of the level you're just collecting bubbles. You probably should be collecting the shapes the whole time. Great exploring! 
Oh no. Rhombus! Well, that was a diamond. Yeah! But anyway, poor side of Rhombus. Oh no, I want to go down there. But it doesn't matter because I'm never going to run out. One more item in the explorer yeah, log this is book. A smart to aimed at three to seven year olds. And I know I was going to call myself the average Aussie gamer, but really bad if I uh, get a game over on a kid's game. Battle Toads, this is not. Triangles. Triangle. Equilateral triangles. Triangles with three sides the same. The same length. In the same angle. And some crab man knowledge, the uh, angle inside should equal 180 degrees. Impressive! Down. Ow! I don't mind if I take a bit of damage to get the, uh, the bubble. Tangle. It's like Sonic when you're, uh, you're underwater. Yeah! Gee, that music used to panic me when I was small. When you get that five second countdown, oh, there was nothing worse. Great exploring! It was just ultimate panic, you couldn't play properly. Stuck underwater in chemical plant zone, aquatic run. Looking for an air bubble. Labyrinth zone, that had some underwater sections, Sonic 1. This uh, level goes for quite a while. Oh, we're done. 100 out of 100. This is your score. Oh, welcome to the Explorer Logbook. I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll just. Did you one. know that some starfish eat coral? Oh, I've heard that on the um, next screen when I was practicing, so we'll list all of those at the end, just in case you're interested. Submarine salvage! I want to explore the submarine! Help Nemo rescue the sea animals! He shouldn't... A seahorse is a sea animal! Well, there are things you can't rescue? Oh, so you shouldn't rescue this. What happens if we do? A clam is a non-living... A clam is a sea animal! You've got one more item in the Explorer Lock Book. Oh, a no. ring a is ring. a non-living thing. That's what kids do in year one, living and non-living for science. Well, there's the fish at the start. Ow! Oh, whoops. Keep thinking there are things to collect. Shrimp. Uh, shrimp is a sea animal. Which Australians don't throw on the Barbie. Don't listen to the old Paul Hogan ad from the 80s. We don't throw shrimps on Barbies. Absolutely not. Uh, just, that uh, my people, is a my sea people. Animal. Great exploring! Yeah, it's just a misconception about Australians. We do barbecue. Coin. Just sausage. Uh, coin oh, is I a non -living thing. Um, we barbecue like sausage, steak, lamb, lamb chops, some seafood, although I don't really like seafood. A uh, snail is a sea yeah, animal. Yeah, sea snail. I tell you what, these games are a lot better without the hissing in the background. Jellyfish! A uh, jellyfish is a sea animal! I do like the checkpoint too. Oh no. Oh no. A uh, squid is a sea animal! The despair squid. Ow. Anything, anything else done up there? We've got to go through this carefully. I'm really not playing this game well at all. You've got one more item in the Explorer Logbook. Ow! What? 
coming. There's uh, more things out to get you in this game than any other of the V-Smile games. I'm trying my best to um, find a couple more. Oh. Find a couple more as well. Monster! A uh, monster is a sea monster. animal! Pinchy! But they're not really easy to um, get hold of as well, and I would like to add them to my collection because I'm always about game preservation. And I do like to uh, own the games that I play. Starfish. Uh, starfish is a sea animal! Great exploring! How many things do you have to get? Eight? Wow! Oh, I'm done. This is your score! Oh! Welcome to the Explorer Logbook! Oh, did I not get them all? Oh, I was supposed to get these. Oh no, I missed them. It's the daddy seahorse who gives birth to seahorse babies. Did you know that salmon swim upstream to lay their eggs? Hermit crab rescue! Oh, uh, crabs. My people. The hermit crab is trapped. To free him, press enter to... I probably should listen to the um, the rest of those instructions. But it guide the crab to safety. I can just roll that out of the way. Get the same momentum. Crab you long, crab you long, yeah! crab you long. Beware the things they do. They're geneticizing monsters with geneta glue. Do -do 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 you know where that's from? You can leave a comment. And I'll tell you, it's Evil Scarecrow. Check them out. Crabulon. One of my favorite songs. Gotcha, come, Crabby. Highway. Collect as many colorful shells as you can. Well, this is like Sonic 2. This is like the bonus stage. Shells. Pink. Cool. Pink. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Blue. That is great. Where are my rings? Oh no. I, did I miss that? Impressive. Is actually like weird pseudo 3D from the mid 90s. The games claim they were 3D on the Super Nintendo. Purple! Wow. And the uh, Mega Drive or the Sega Genesis, depending on where you're from. Se wow. Sega! Well, the middle button would help you uh, speed up a little bit, give you a little boost. How do I not pick up that chip? I don't understand. I didn't get that shell either. This level is weird. Orange! We did it! Great exploring! This is terrible exploring. This is like the time I got lost in the Singaporean jungle, which, uh... Orange. Singapore's a small yeah. place and I still managed to get lost in it. In a jungle. Do you think how... It's small. No, there is a, there's a national park. And I got lost in it. For ages. I still don't know how you get those up there. How am I meant to get this shell? Oh, Yellow. Oh, that shell. Wow! But it's an adventure and a good story. I got lost. Red. This is back cool. before you could get um, internet overseas on your phone. 
and I got lost, and I went into a golf, exclusive golf club. I said, can you please call me a taxi? And they said, sure. But this is an exclusive club, so, uh, Mr. Shop, uh, you'll have to wait outside. So I did. Great! That is great! So I was not allowed to sit in the lobby of the great. golf club. They Glory. turned me outside, out in the car park, to wait for a taxi. Brown! We did it! To be fair, I was pretty sweaty because it was, it was Damn, hot and impressive. Brown! Cool! Can we just keep going? Do we get all the shells or is there a limit? White! White! Yeah! I think this game probably has Great the. Exploring. The weakest educational merit in the games, but I know there's a fact that section great. that you can learn on as well, so it might balance out a this little bit. Is your score. So I think that's the main part of the story mode done in about 20 minutes. Oh, welcome to the explore. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Yeah, we did it, just like my dad. Thanks for joining me on my adventure. Well done. You are an excellent explorer, but I bet you can find even more things in this great big ocean. Let's have another adventure soon. <laughs> adventure yeah, and that's it. We'll do, Explore um... Explore logbook. I'll come back to the logbook at the end if you're interested, but I'll play the logbook. learning zone first and then do the logbook. Sea life. Find the sea animal. Use the colored buttons to answer. Octopus. Oh, colored buttons. Yeah! I am not paying attention this evening. It's been a long day. Swordfish! That is great! I've got to, like, look at the buttons, too, Snail. because I don't know which button is which. We did it! I'll hold it in front Tuna. of my face. Tuna! Tunas are bigger than you wow. think. They're huge. They weigh, like, 60 kilos. Or, like, 150 pounds. Keep sick! This is your score! I am impressed. Would you like to play a... Which bird is different from the others? Use the colored buttons to answer. Yeah! You know, this the bird looks again. shorter than the others. Oh, the bluebird's been on the chips. bird looks bigger than the others. Oh, we're in Sydney. I can see the Sydney Opera House. Hold on, I'm not paying attention. Which one looks different? They look the same. I'm missing something here because they all look the same to me. What is different? Eyes, eyes, beak. Oh, one's got a smaller beak. It's really hard to tell. Wow! This bird's beak looks smaller than the others. That is hard. Gee, this game is not easy at all. Oh, that's a small beak too. Cool. This bird's beak looks thinner than the others. Oh, thinner. looks larger than the others. So there's the Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Sydney Opera House. This is your score. And there's everyone inside. Would you like to play... Choose the pattern that matches the impression. Use the colored buttons to answer. Star and moon. Star and ring. Cool. Sun and moon. We did it. Water 
Teardrop and Moon. <laughs> Sun and Water Drop. We did it! This is your score! Would you like to play... We've yep. got one game to go, Our and then we'll nursery. go through all the facts, and that will be the end of the video. Help the baby fish back to their mothers. Move oh. the joystick to push the baby fish. That's a nice game. I don't know why I'm, like, the fish version of Kirby, though. It's like Kirby mixed with Peppa Pig. Get in. Get in the gob. Don't swim away. There's one stubborn fish. There you go. Right, if you're this far in, the next one is uh, Little Brats, so that should be entertaining. Oh no, I'm getting stubborn. Go Greenies, get in! Should be the end, and then back time, and then it's the end of the video. This is your score! Would you like to play a... No! Our old nursery! Learn... And then we got the Explorer logbook. Oh! I think it goes through everything that you're supposed to have collected. So I think I've collected all the yellow things, but we'll go through all the um, information. I'll let you listen, and then that will be the end of the video. Humpback whales blow nets of bubbles around schools of fish to catch them. Then they swim up through the bubble net to eat their food. When it's threatened by a predator, the squid squirts ink to hide its escape. Some crabs decorate themselves with plants and small animals to hide from predators. I'm putting a plant on me. Oops. It's easy to skip these as well. Did you know that octopi have three hearts? The anglerfish has a glowing orb that dangles over its head to lure its prey. Barnacles attach to rocks and even animals like turtles. Did you know that fish sleep with their eyes opened? So I don't think they have eyelids. Pearls are made by our friend, the oyster. Impressive! The stingray has a spiny, poisonous tail. Careful! Sure does. Sea snakes can swallow a fish that is more than twice the size of their neck. Impressive! Sharks have rows of teeth that replace any teeth they lose. An octopus can change its skin color to match its surroundings. The tripod fish lies deep down on the ocean floor on its three long skinny fins. A scallop moves by clapping the two sides of its shell together. Did you know that a flounder's eyes are on the same side of its head? Did you know that the slowest fish in the world is the seahorse? Did you know that some starfish eat coral? 
Did you know that a manatee is also called a sea cow? Did you know that a starfish moves on thousands of tiny tube feet? It's the daddy seahorse who gives birth to seahorse babies. Did you know that some octopi are smart enough to open jars? Smarter than some people. Did you know that salmon swim upstream to lay their eggs? A porcupine fish uses its prickly quills to defend itself. Careful! Oh, where was I up to? Did you know that slugs are basically snails without shells? A jellyfish is 95% water. Ew. Oops. A jellyfish is 95% water. Impressive! It's really hard to control this menu. Did you know that a lobster's blood is blue? The hermit crab lives in discarded snail shells. Yeah, they're not discarded, they've just been eaten. Well, they've died. Did you know that some fish like to travel in schools? Giant squid can grow to be longer than a boat. Impressive! Did you know that some jellyfish have eight eyes? The smallest fish in the world is the stout infant fish. It's about the size of your fingernail. Some seahorses look like clumps of seaweed. An octopus has eight legs. Dolphins are so smart, they've been known to rescue humans from danger. The blue whale is the largest animal on Earth. Impressive! Okay, final fact. Did you know that the dwarf shark is as small as your hand? And those are all the facts. Well, this has been Crabman from Crabman Gaming. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.